Welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in this video we are going to implement our weapons so that we can equip and unequip them. So I've already made these uh, pickup items and uh, I gave them a type of uh, weapon. Let it open up and here you can see under the item data the type is weapon and we are going to yeah, use this as a weapon. So that's the only thing that is important for the item data info and uh, the meshes and the assets like always you can find down in the description box so let's begin first thing what I'm gonna do I'm going to create a new folder in my inventory system and I'm going to call this equipment items and inside of here I'm going to create two new blueprint classes of a static mesh actor type and the first one I'm gonna call equip axe and the other one is going to be static mesh actor equip pickaxe so i'm going to open up both of these and for the first one so the pickaxe static mesh actor needs to be a pickaxe there we go and the other one needs to be a axe and one thing that's super important inside of here is that we select this static mesh component and make it movable and also that we disable the collision otherwise we will put this in our character's hand and it will collide with our character and that's gonna cause issues so do this for both of your equipments or if you have uh, other meshes then do this for all of them and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for these right now so the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my skeleton so I'm gonna find my skeleton and there we go so I have my base character female skeleton and now we need to find a location where we want to put our weapon in and first what I'm gonna do I'm gonna change the animation pose so I'm gonna select the preview of scene settings animation change to use specific animation and I'm gonna select my attack animation there we go so I'm gonna pause this for now and also I have uh, two animations I also have a smash animation which I'm gonna use for my pickaxe but that's not uh, like super important or uh, necessary you can use just one animation for all of your items if you like but if you want you can do multiple animations for different types of weapons so now I'm gonna select the bone that I want and it's going to be wrist bone on my right hand because my character will hold weapon in her right arm for now later we're gonna make another one for the other arm but for now it's going to be just this one so I'm gonna right click this wrist and I'm going to add a socket and I'm gonna rename this socket to weapon slot and it is important to remember this socket's name because we will need to get its transform and uh, yeah itself now I'm gonna right click this and I'm going to add a preview of asset and I'm gonna use whoops something went wrong and I'm gonna use the axe like so you can see that it's super huge so I'm gonna make this smaller I will go back to the detail select this and let's say like 0.05 seems pretty good yeah seems pretty good still a bit big but we'll work with this and now I'm gonna place this in the arm so I'm gonna do it like so move this down back out like so and just align this in the arm so there we go seems good for me later on you can come back and adjust this if your item is not uh, fitting in your arm properly so the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my third person character blueprint and now let's start adding so we already have our equip and unequip 
item functions if you don't have these then go a few videos back and watch my tutorials so I'm gonna open up this equip item and I'm going to add a new type to my switch so add a new pin and this pin needs to be type and the type was weapon and now we need to create a variable for our weapon so I'm going to duplicate the equipped boots and I'm gonna call this equipped weapon and now I will drag this in I will get this and like like we do over here we are going to break this structure and we're going to check if this uh, variable is empty to see if we are allowed to actually equip an item so let's check if the name is empty and if it is empty then we are going to equip it I'm gonna move this down and if it's not then in the equipment uh, UI we are already like removing the item so now if it fails we can put it back in our inventory so connect this to weapon weapon to branch and if this is true then we are setting this variable just like in the other equipments and connect this to item data like so and over here we can go to our server collect equipment and of course we are also going to replicate this in this same tutorial so that we don't have to so I wouldn't have to make another tutorial separately for the weapons because we already created the replication system in previous videos so this is it for the equip item function over here so I'm gonna compile and save and now in the event graph where we have this server equip item we are going to add a new pin to this switch as well and this is also a weapon type like so and I'm gonna make this a bit bigger because actually I might move this over here because over here we are going to do something a little bit different and that is we are going to do a attach to component and we are going to attach our weapon to our static mesh so what I'm gonna do now is I will drag from my character I might actually do a reroute like so and I need to get my characters mesh so it's over here and from here I need to get my socket our uh, weapon slot so get socket transform and the socket name was weapon slot there we go and the next thing what I'm gonna do is well actually I already did this from the execution but first before we attach to component we actually need to spawn the actor itself so let's do spawn actor from class and we need to spawn our equip axe or equip pickaxe so I'm gonna begin by spawning axe first so equip axe and transform needs to be this slot transform like so and actually I will need more space so I'm gonna move these back and now I will drag this back a bit now we need to promote this to a variable our spawned actor so I'm gonna drag from here and I'm going to do a promote to variable and I'm gonna call this weapon actually equipped weapon slot like so and it created it as a equip axe and that's not exactly what we need we actually need a actor type for this so change this to actor there we go so now it's an actor type so reconnect the pins and the next thing what we are going to do is so here we have a target which we want to attach and the target needs to be this actor that we just spawned and the parent needs to be our static mesh like so well uh, in this case actually it's a skeletal mesh there we go and for the socket name we again need to type in our weapon slot and for these 
drop downs we need to change these to snap to target so that our weapon would snap to the location it is supposed to be in so I think that should do this it should be good enough so let's compile and save this and let's test this out oh actually we need still one more thing because we do not launch the event yet so we need to go to our UI item info because right now if we, if we click on the item nothing really happens so in our hover and unhovered I'm going to add a pen and this is going to be a weapon type pen so let's do this first weapon there we go and now also in our click event we need the same weapon and there we go and we already have this equip item so we can just connect our weapon to this third person character cast there we go so compile and save and now we can go to the game and let's begin with a axe because this is the only one we can actually equip so click axe and we have an axe in our hand great so now let's do the pickaxe and for the pickaxe it's going to be pretty simple let's go to our third person character back over here in our server equip item and over here what we need to do is I will drag this back and before we spawn the actor I'm going to do another switch on string and for this one we are going to select the name of our item so selection is the name and I have two names and uh, well I already closed them but uh, in the pickup item names were axe and pickaxe so I'm gonna uh, type these into these switches so the first one will be axe and the second one is going to be a pickaxe I'm going to disconnect the default one and connect the axe over here to our spawn equip axe like so I'm going to move this back and what I'm going to do now is just copy these nodes right like so connect the static mesh the skeletal mesh to the parent spawn transform to socket transform pickaxe to the bottom spawn actor and the type here needs to be our equipped pickaxe there we go so now we can compile and save and I think I did not forget anything I think this is all so now we can go back in the game again and test out our pickaxe so pickaxe and there we go we have a pickaxe in our hand great